Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nazzy iPhone Hacker here, and I'm sorry, I know I haven't done a lot of iPhone and iPod Touch mods, but I have a great mod for you today. Uh, many of you guys know of the app called Pro Switcher, which is this right here. Review coming on this soon, alright? But I have something that's a little different and might even be better for some of you people, and it is called Doc, alright? This is not free, but I will be showing you how to get it for free because I'm just that awesome, right? But, um, Doc is pretty much like this. Bam. Look at that, guys. It shows you items that you would normally have on your dock. Let me macro this up. For example, your photos. Um, Safari, settings, mail, phone, iPod. And it has apps. Apps with the blue dot next to it are the apps that are being run in the background using the app called Backrounder, which you will also need. And this pretty much shows you the multitasking ability that the iPhone can do with background, all right? So um, right off the bat, you saw what I did. And Doc is really cool, guys, because unlike Pro Switcher, you have apps that you don't have open, but you... you okay, so pretty much I had to go to a different angle just so I can finish up what I was saying. But um, Doc... All you have to do pretty much is simple as this. Alright, I've shown you this before, and you have everything here. What's great is that not only do you have the apps that are running in the background, but you also have some apps that you always love to go to, at least some of the main applications, so that way they're always within fingers touch, you know, like settings, Safari, photos, iPod. Let's just say I want to go my iPod, bam, simple as that, alright? Let's just say I'm already in my iPod. You know, I'm going through songs or whatever, and I just want to slide up. Bam, there you go. Now, to get out of this, you just tap to the right. Alright, so let me just show you real quick Insidia. But uh, while City is loading up, just want to thank you guys for all the support. If you are watching this video, that means that you stay with me. I know I haven't been putting out a lot of videos lately, but I've just been very busy. School and sports and such, and I'm sorry. Also, excuse my voice, I am a little bit sick, but um, as we all know, Cydia takes super long to load, but the repo that I've got this from is an awesome repository. I will have the link and the name, title, like what you need to type in. Everything will be in the description, so go check that out as soon as possible, but the repository I use and that I believe a lot of people should have is called Be Your iPhone from BeYourIPhone.com. Now they have a great, a lot of great stuff. So, um, for instance, just go into search, and you're gonna want to type in doc. All right, D O C K, doc. Now let me switch to macro real quick, so I can show you this up close. So now you guys can see that is the original doc app. This is the one from iSpazio, and I have tested this on iSpazio. It is um. This is the, you have to buy it, okay? It's not a free app, which is why I got it from Be Your iPhone because it is a cracked version, which is awesome. It's so it's free. So, Snazzy the iPhone Hacker is the first to show you how to get it for free, I guess. But, um, the dock application is awesome. It is pretty much just multitasking for your iPhone, just like Pro Switcher, but it's a really nice new twist to, um, to multitasking. So, what you want to do is click on it. And of, of course, you're going to want to click download or install, but I already have it, so it'll say modify. This is the 1.0 version, and as you guys can see, beyouriphone.com. Let me show you the repository real quick, so that way you guys can find it out for yourself. There you guys go. HTTP semicolon slash slash repo dot beyouriphone.com slash. All right. Great repository. Go check them out. All right. So as I'm in Cydia slide up there but that's alright so this is like the third time I've done this and I wanted to make this um, I want to prove this point to you guys as you guys know there are little buttons at the bottom of Cydia and usually when there is a button at the bottom right hand corner of an app it is very hard to use dock it very rarely works so that's a downfall about 
um, doc, but if you're just on your home screen and you want to open up doc, it opens up nice and easily, alright? So let me show you something real quick. I'm going to go into um, my Twitter, open up Tweety, and I'm going to hold it and enable backgrounding, okay? Now I'm going to also go into uh, hmm, the game Bounce Down. Hold it, enable backgrounding, all right? So I have a game, a Twitter application all open. I'm going to open up Weather. And you can tell I have the game still running in the background because you hear the sound effects from the game. All right, so let me just turn that off. So now I'm going to go into my dock. And as you guys can see, I have Fizz Weather, which is my main weather application. I have the game Bounce Down, review on that coming soon. Tweety is open, my iPod is running in the background, um, I've got my phone, mail, settings, all that good stuff, right? And now I just want to show you another cool feature, which is the fact that you guys can switch um, icons around. Like As you guys can see, I have a ton of stuff open here. So let's just say I always use my Twitter, and I want that in the middle. Just drag and drop it in, and now it's always in the middle where I can always see it right away, and I don't have to scroll up or down. Let's just say I don't want bounce down up too high, so I can just drag it down into the middle. So now let me go into bounce down, and as you can see, the game is up and running. So I can just go into my high scores, check it out. Start a game, bam, I'm already playing my game. See that? Awesome. So now let's check, I want to disable it, just hold down until you see background disable. And that's another important thing, okay guys? You're going to want to, um, oh my fault. You're going to want to have Backgrounder already installed, as you guys can see there. The app called Backgrounder, it runs in the background, don't worry about it. But that is the most important thing to this and Pro Switcher, which is that right there. If it still works, hold on. Yeah, there you go. See, Pro Switcher. Pro Switcher is great also, and I will have a review on this coming soon. But um, Doc, I feel, is more more cool, like in a way, like if you want to open up some apps that you don't have open yet, but you always use like Safari or Photos, I feel like Doc is a great app for you because it looks cool and in like a fan type way. It has icons. It looks really nice. Let me just go into my Twitter real quick. Bam, straight off the bat, Twitter works fine, okay? You can just go and put a tweet out. Simple as that with Doc running, okay? So let's see if it works with, while I'm trying to type something. It works even when you're trying to type something. Really nice and simple, all right? Want to go into my, my um, whatever it's called. <laughs> but let me show you about the Doc app itself like the actual icon and such. That is the actual icon for Doc. If you open it up, if you got the craft version or you bought it, whichever one is up, it's whatever way, it's up to you guys. But you will see that it has an about section. You can enable Doc. You can have icon rotation, which I'll show in a sec. Show badge for, like, as you guys saw in my mail. As you guys can see right there, badge. And does it rotate? Uh, I guess it doesn't rotate. Okay, that's weird. It says, I wonder what the rotation thing is all about. I guess this is what the rotation thing is all about. But um, if it went into landscape, that'd be awesome. But there's really no point for that. So um, you can also how to show the dock. You can have it double tap status bar. I have that off because I use Pro, um, Pro Switcher for double tap sometimes. You can have it on the left corner slide up or right corner. As you guys can see, left corner works just as well. But I like right corner a little bit more because that's I'm a right-handed person. And you can reset all settings. So Doc not only is very finger-friendly and intuitive, but it also has a lot of um, ways you can access Doc. All right, so that's the review on Doc. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my other videos. A giveaway is coming soon, guys. That's right. A giveaway is coming soon. So stay tuned. Stay subscribed. Tell your friends about it. And uh, my website is coming soon, too. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for staying with me. Peace.